So many people have been waiting in anticipation for an update video coming since I made the video the other day, which was a silent video of me eating food on my new diet, which I said that I was going to announce 30 days after what diet I was now eating after quitting my high carbohydrate vegan diet. So this is this video where I'm going to be completely transparent and honest with you and give you as much detail as I possibly can on my new diet. And for anyone wondering what diet I'm on, I am on a meat-based ketogenic diet, which may come as a shock to so many people because I made so many videos about veganism time and time again on this channel. I've also just made a lot of videos about me and my ego's just wanted me to make ones because I'm also very vain and I just like to show off my body and just talk a lot. And I like things to like feed my ego. So yeah, sometimes I like making these vain videos as well. So yeah. You may be wondering, why did I do this? Well, as many of you may know, I was eating a fruitarian diet for so long. And I just learned from so many raw food teachers that this is the best vegan diet possible and all cooked foods are really toxic for you and you should avoid them altogether, even if they're plant-based whole foods such as potatoes with no oil, no seasoning, no salt and that. And they just resonated with me. It just made so much sense. They said to me, yes, just eat more and more fruit and just smash in the carbs, carve the fruit up and just getting as much food as you can. And when you've got health issues symptoms going on, like I did on this diet, that you should just eat more fruit and just fast way more. Because they said to me, yeah, there is certain people out there to talk about nutritional deficiencies, but instead of eating foods that actually have the certain nutrients in that I was lacking on my fruit-based diet, they just told me to fast because they said, fasting corrects nutritional deficiencies. And it just made so much sense to me. I just read in their books and their videos on YouTube that this worked. So surely it makes sense. I didn't actually do any research to see whether there was any scientific evidence to back up their claims. They just looked really pretty and they just seemed like they were thriving. And surely I could trust them. Surely they're not, not thriving on a raw fruit-based diet. So I listened to these people and every time I got health issues and symptoms, I just do more and more fast. And I even went to the extreme of doing a 60 day water fast. And then I came off of it and I still had the health issues and symptoms that I had prior to it and it didn't resolve it. But I got told the water fasting is a panacea. It just resolves every single different health issue. And it's something that we've always done in a natural environment before we was in this Western civilization that we're in. And if it worked for us back in our natural environment, then surely why wouldn't it work now? So I, I'm not sure why it didn't work. I expected it to work. It was such a shame I did that and I lost so much body weight. And yeah, it just caused some other issues as well. So that was really a shame that that didn't work whatsoever because I expected it to. And my digestion got absolutely ruined, had so much gas and bloating and at times diarrhea and constipation. And there were certain people that are known as certain health experts and vegan doctors out there that apparently help people via doing certain tests for certain nutritional deficiencies and other tests to check their hormones and see if they've got SIBO and other issues going on. And yeah, they just use all these complex, complicated testing methods that just weren't available in our natural environment. So if we didn't have them then, why do we need to do them now? And they kept saying to me, you need to take supplements that again are not natural. And if I can't get the nutrients from my food on a vegan diet that is a very restrictive vegan diet, such as a fruitarian diet, then obviously, it's not the most ideal diet for humans. So yeah, I'm not gonna go down the roots of getting tests done. It's absolutely ridiculous. And I just think that it's absolutely unnecessary. And to be honest, who wants to go and actually listen to people that base all of their information on science-based research on how to thrive on a vegan diet? It just shouldn't be that complicated at all. And it's just not a route that I want to go down at all. So instead, I just started looking at certain vegan YouTubers that said that they'd started to not thrive on a vegan diet. They said they started eating way more fat and lots of cooked vegan foods and even doing extreme calorie restriction. So I started experimenting with what they were doing because they seem to be thriving and they seem to be doing so well on it. And surely I could trust them as well, just like the raw food teachers that I learned from because yeah, Surely we can trust anyone online and they're not gonna tell a lie 
whatsoever. So it just makes sense to me that why would we not disregard and not believe certain information that they are sharing with us through their YouTube videos. And I did this for a while, noticed some slight improvements, but nothing really, really dramatic. And then as we've seen over the last few months, so many of these vegan YouTubers and other digital media influencers that are vegan have started to eat things such as fish and eggs and meat. And what I learned from them, which is so amazing that you need to be aware of if you're not aware of this, that so many of them found once they ate one piece of fish or some of an egg, that something magical happened overnight and just like that, boom, all of the hair issues just went away. So it must be the magical fix that we've all been looking for for people such as me that are not thriving on a vegan diet. And this just absolutely blew my mind. I didn't think it could be that simple. So it started to make me question my vegan diet and maybe I was deficient in things such as cholesterol and animal proteins and all of these things that animal foods have in the vegan diet foods, well, foods on a vegan diet don't have. And that's surely why a vegan diet doesn't work because yeah, I'm missing certain things from certain animal-based foods that I need to be the healthiest person that I could possibly be and free of sickness and disease. But with eating meat and fish and other animal-based foods, we're not getting any of those anti-nutrients whatsoever. And also it's making me get a complete protein source time and time again, unlike on a vegan diet where there's not really much at all if any complete protein source to maximize muscle growth. And I thought to myself, if people such as Arnold Schwarzenegger got so big due to eating so many animal foods and training on a regular basis, it must be my vegan diet that's just making me very skinny, weak and frail. As you can see, like I've got hardly any muscle whatsoever. I definitely don't look strong. I think I have become protein deficient on this vegan diet. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna start doing consistently what Arnold Schwarzenegger did and eat loads of meat and fish and eggs because I want to become a mass monster and that is my number one priority. I want to become a professional bodybuilder and look as big as possible so I can just feel the best about myself and get people to look at me in such awe and amazement. And I just love the effect these vegan YouTubers have on me. I watch them and they just charm me and dazzle me because externally they're so physically appearing. And I'm so vain, and physical appearance is the number one thing that matters to me. And I think that it should matter to everyone because why shouldn't we? We should all be doing everything that we can do to make ourselves look really good and also feel really good at the same time, no matter whether we're having to harm animals in the process to feel good because I am my number one priority. And surely if it resolved all their health issues overnight that I should be listening to them rather than certain vegan doctors and experts out there because all of these really young YouTubers that don't do any research into things surely know better than them. So I'm going to follow them. So I made the choice to do some experimentation. So first off I went and got myself some bacon, cooked the bacon had one little bite and you're not gonna believe what happened. Just what happened to them happened to me as well. It's just so amazing. It's, wow. I can't believe I've been on a vegan diet and making myself suffer for so long. I just ate a bit of bacon and all of my health issues went away and my symptoms, my digestion's flawless. And it started reducing my body fat percentage so I could get a more physically appealing appearance to myself and so I can look better to all the girls and just feed my ego and just feel better about myself because so much of my self-esteem and confidence levels are about my external appearance. And what I noticed as well is my libido went through the roof which has been low for so long so it's improved my sex life in so many ways which my girlfriend's really happy about and I'm really happy about at the same time. My energy levels have gone through the roof, my skin had just completely cleared up and even my penis has got bigger. And wow, so why would I not continue to do this? If it's working for me and making me feel good, then obviously I'm gonna to continue to do it because I am my number one priority and I love myself to not make myself suffer at all. 
And if some animals' lives need to be ended in some specific way for me to eat them so I can feel good, then that's all that matters. Because I only got into this, as I mentioned earlier on, for health reason and me just caring about myself. Animals, yeah, I'm more of a pet lover. I like buying dogs that come from breeders and I love cats and I'd never eat them because they're pets, it's just not right. It's just not right for people to do that at all. But things such as cows and pigs that are created to be, well, produced to be on our plate for us to eat, that's okay because most people in society are doing it. And I just think if people in society do things that are socially acceptable, then it's okay for me to do it as well. And what you need to remember is, with me on this diet, I am eating organic, free range, fairy dust sprinkled, magical, humanely killed meat where they're grass fed, so they get given the best life possible. They get loads of freedom outside, and give them loads of comfort and love, and give them a really good life to the best of I possibly can. So it's not like I'm buying commercially raised, animal products where they're put in small cages and really not looked after well and just very mistreated. It's just all happiness for them for the majority of their life. And yeah, at the end, they do get their life ended, but they've had all of that amazing life before. So because it's been done in a humane way and they looked after really well before their life is taken and they end up on my plate so I can eat them. I think that's totally okay. And I think the same with humans as well. If we were to bring up babies in this world from certain humans, and we just let them all roam around and we loved them and cared them and met all of their emotional needs and fed them so well, the best diet that they could, and didn't do all these nasty things to them, I think after a while of them being around, it's okay to humanely end their lives too. I don't see anything wrong with that whatsoever. At least that makes sense to me. Does it make sense to you? Yeah, that, yeah definitely. I think it would make sense to you. I don't, I don't see why not. Yeah, it seems completely fine to me. And it just doesn't make sense to me why all these vegans think you can thrive on a vegan diet. I don't think we're designed for it whatsoever. You have so many plant-based foods that have oxalates in it and phytates and so many other anti-nutrients, such as antihistamines, that cause us to have so many digestive issues and health issues and symptoms, as we've seen time and time again with people that have been on a vegan diet for so long and have not thrived on it. And so many people say, well, we're frugivores and we're designed to eat fruit and all of these other plant foods, but it doesn't make any sense to me. I think we are like carnivores, such as lions, these animals that just feast on meat and just absolutely thrive from it. And they seem to be very strong and energetic and healthy and versatile and like amazing pack leaders. They are just like the animals that are the king of the natural kingdom. So if it's working for them, it just makes sense to me as well. So I'm just gonna continue on this path and do it because yeah, it's definitely working now. And I'm sure that I won't get any issues down the road. We don't need things such as vitamin C, and cholesterol doesn't actually raise cholesterol. There's just so much misinformation that is spread by vegans that just lie through their teeth blatantly. And it's just a whole cult thing, and I don't wanna be a part of a cult anymore. It's just not for me. It's so extreme. And yeah, instead, I'd rather just do what a loving person would do and not make themselves suffer on a vegan diet when it doesn't work for them. It's not working for so many of these other YouTubers out there. So yeah, I will keep you updated on this diet. It just makes completely full sense to me. At least I think so, anyway. And yeah, my brain health just got better. My life just got better in every way. And I don't feel bad about these animals getting harmed to be on my plate. Because I just have to do what I need to do. And like I said, I'm a number one priority. So yeah, I would do whatever I need to, no matter who it's harming. And many people have said, just before I end the video, that what about this Ahimsa tattoo, which is a Sanskrit tattoo? And when people started to say that, I started to do some research into it, and I was like, what? I didn't actually know there was a meaning behind this at all. I just got it done because I saw someone else of it, and it looked really good. I didn't do any research into what it meant. But apparently it means non-violence and compassion to all living things. But I didn't get it for the meaning behind it because I didn't know about it. So it's absolutely fine for me to have it on there because, yeah, for me it's just a tattoo for look. 
I'm not actually following the philosophy of what this Sanskrit word known as ahimsa means. So yeah, I'm not gonna feel bad about that at all. Oh, and I forgot to mention one thing. When I eat these animal foods, I show so much gratitude and appreciation for them being on my plate and serving me in a positive way to feel the best I can feel. And a lot of people just say I'm not empathic, I'm not compassionate. But to be honest, I'm just feeling empathy and compassion for myself. And I, I need to make myself feel the best. So I have to do this for myself. Because, yeah, animals, you know, they're just there for companies to produce certain animal products for them. That's what God has brought them into this universe for. So they're helping me. And I love them so much for that. So thank you, animals. Thank you. Thank you. So, yeah. That is the end of the video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you like the video, like it down below. Give us a thumbs up. If you don't, give us a thumbs down. Please share this video with any other people out there that need to hear about why you cannot thrive on a vegan diet and how it just destroyed my health and how this magical thing such as meat come along and just resolved everything for me because maybe they need help too because yeah, no one can really thrive on a vegan diet and all these vegans out there that say they're thriving, they're just lying anyway, we can't trust them. We can only trust the keto diet eaters and teachers and carnivore people because yeah, they're definitely people that we can trust for one reason or another. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more serious videos from me on a regular basis, such as this one that you have watched today. And make sure if you want to be notified of when new videos are uploaded, you click that subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise you will not be notified with when more of these serious videos are coming along. So as always, stay happy, stay meaty and enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.